Hospitals across the country are dealing with a drug shortage. And as News 3's Chris Gothner found out, Madison hospitals are no exception. He joins us now with more on this story. Chris? Yeah, Eric and Michelle, just this morning, the New York Times published an article detailing shortages of crucial drugs at hospitals around the country. A pharmacist at St. Mary's Hospital in Madison says she's been able to find alternatives when supplies get low, but sometimes those alternatives can be pricey. No one wants to end up in the hospital, but when you do, you probably hope you can get the best medicine, but sometimes the best drugs aren't available. There's a lot of different factors that can contribute to drug shortages. Sometimes it's just uh, wholesaler issues or specific manufacturers that weren't able to correctly uh, estimate demand and supply needs. Uh, sometimes it's a raw uh, ingredient shortage overseas that really limits production. Right now, St. Mary's Hospital pharmacists say some common antibiotics, anti-nausea meds, and surgical dyes are regularly running low. That means doctors and pharmacists have to be proactive in order to get patients the right treatment. We can make those good decisions early enough where uh, we don't have to deny a patient a medication that they truly need. Which often means finding alternatives. For example, Rotzenberg says while some supplies of generic drugs can often run low, providers are usually able to find a beneficial alternative drug. But sometimes the cost of those can run high. Sometimes your alternative is a very expensive brand medication medication when the original medication may be a much older, much less expensive medication. Rotzenberg says the hospital can't do much about the shortages, but it's constantly prioritizing the best way to react to them. We keep really close tabs in those situations and monitor our supply so that when we get to the situation where it gets very low, um, we should by that point already have a plan in place of what to do uh, and what helps guide us to make those really tough decisions. Now, if supplies do get critically low, Rotzenberg says staff try to prioritize, prioritize vulnerable patients like children and babies. And as for shortages at UW and Meritor hospitals, their spokesman, spokespersons told me today they too are dealing with them just like everybody else. Interesting issues. Chris Gothner tonight. Chris, thank you.